TensorFlow Debugger, or TFDBG, is a specialized runtime debugger for TensorFlow. Using the TensorFlow Debugger, you can debug any running competition graphs in TensorFlow with only two lines of code change. This is difficult to achieve with general debuggers such as GDB or Python's PDB. In this video, we're demonstrating the command line interface of TensorFlow Debugger, which provides easy access to the structure and intermediate states of a running TensorFlow graph. Here, I'm running a sample code from our tutorials. You can find a link to that tutorial in the description. For example, the interface presents a list of intermediate tensors generated during the previous session.run call. You can click node info to view the type, attributes, and other information about the graph node from which the tensor was generated. To look at the structure of the graph, you can click list inputs or list outputs. Those will show the transitive inbound or outbound tensors of the given node. You can also use the conditional breakpoints feature of the debugger to let the code run until a certain condition is satisfied on the graph. For example, in this case, we will let the model run until problematic values such as infinities and nands, or not a number, appear in the graph. Once the conditional breakpoint is hit, the interface presents all the tensors that contain the infinities and nands in a temporally sorted order. So you can see that the tensor on the top is the culprit tensor, namely the tensor that first produced the infinities or nands. You can click the tensor to see its value and use regular expression search to locate the indices of the infinities and nands. The TensorFlow debugger also allows you to step through nodes of the graph one by one in a way that is analogous to procedural language debuggers such as GDB and PDB. To step through nodes of the graph, we can use the command S, which stands for step, as we're doing here. While you're stepping through the graph, you can use the command inject to modify the value of a given tensor while preserving the values of all the other tensors in the graph. After the value injection, you can keep stepping in the graph. The stepping mode can be a powerful tool for diagnosing certain model issues. For example, if you suspect that a specific tensor, like a high learning rate or a certain weight, causes issues in a specific run, you can change its value while leaving all other tensors untouched and observe the difference it makes. To get started with TensorFlow Debugger, please check out the links in the description. Thanks very much.